One of the things that we noticed is certain generations always seem to bring home basically the same memento. And for Vietnam, it was the Zippo lighter, the very famous Zippo lighter. We have so many in our collection that we actually had to winnow it down to the ones you see here. Um, and the way we decided to display it, I call it the Great Wall of Zippos, because it was the best way to just put them all on the wall right here, like you see. The lighters, um, first of all, it's the ubiquity of everybody smoking. Everybody had a lighter. The utility of the Zippo, the Zippo company. But the other thing is, you'll notice each one of these has a unique story. Um, they have often unit insignia. Some people will put messages on there, or they'll mark, their, they'll have their name embossed and where they served, um, other various sayings. Um, each one of these in and of itself is a story. And it's a memento, it's a very personal memento for a veteran to bring home. The exhibit is called Souvenirs of Service, the things they kept. And one of the things that we do here at the Veterans Museum is we believe that every veteran is a story. And part of that story is the souvenirs that the veterans brought home. And when you think about it, it's perfectly natural that you would do that because it's an ancient a human impulse to preserve some memento, photo, letter, document, uh, physical object from something that was important to you or something that made a big impression on you. Every human being does that. Veterans are no different. And so this is an opportunity to connect veterans with non-veterans and to connect veterans of different eras together because you'll find a lot of them collect a lot of the same things throughout time. And so it's an opportunity to, to forge those connections and kind of bridge those gaps and get people to have a better understanding of who these veterans are, what they did, and what they brought home and why they thought it was important to bring home.